In this video, I'm going to teach you how you can find out whether any two vectors are parallel or not. And we're going to do this in a way that gives you a deeper understanding of the mathematics and should get you to a point where you can just look at two vectors and tell whether they are parallel or not. So let's look at the underlying maths. So here we're going to have a vector, 2, 3. So that means we're going along by 2 and then going up by 3. And we can plot that. We've got a simple vector. If we had another vector, let's say an identical vector just somewhere different as a start point, we can see that these two vectors are parallel. They're pointing in exactly the same direction. And what we can also notice is that the angle between the two vectors is zero. You could prove that two vectors are parallel by showing that the angle between them is zero, but there is actually a much easier way of proving that they're parallel, and we're going to look at that. You could also draw this vector literally anywhere, so it could have any starting point. As long as it's pointing in the same direction, it's going to be parallel. So that's the first point. You could have the vector anywhere in terms of start position. As long as it's pointing in the same direction and the angle between them is zero, it's going to be parallel. Let's look at another possibility. Let's say we take vector A and we double it. So we double the X component, we double the Y component to get a vector 2A. And we're going to call that vector B. So here we've got vector B simply doubling vector A. And we can plot that in red. Clearly, that is showing that this is parallel. Those two vectors, the, the vector shown in black, the vector shown in red, very obviously they are parallel. The next thing we could try is what if we trebled things? What if we tried to find the vector 3A? And clearly, we're getting another vector that is parallel. So what we can conclude from this is that we can multiply our vector by literally anything as long as it's one number and we're just enlarging it, but it's going to be parallel. So all of these three vectors are all parallel because they're just multiples of each other. So what we can say as a rule is that if we can say that vector A is some number k, and k must be a number, it cannot be a vector, it can be any number, positive, negative, pi, fraction, thirds, anything, as long as it is one value, and we multiply that by vector b, then they are parallel. If we get a situation where we simply cannot find a value of k, and that's one value that we can use to turn vector b into vector a, and that's one scalar number, then they are not parallel. And let's look at what that means in practice. So here we've got our simple vector a, and we're going to do something simple. We're going to take the top number and times it by 2, take the bottom number and times it by 3. That's going to give us this vector. And if we plotted that, we get something that is not parallel. So in this case, a is not equal to some number times b, because the x component's being times by 2, the y component's being times by 3. So we can't have one single value of k that does this. So it's not going to be parallel. Let's look at another nice example that will illustrate how if you understood what I've just talked about, you can just look at two vectors and almost instantly tell whether they're parallel or not. So here we've got vector a, here we've got vector b. Now you can see that vector a and vector b have a factor of 10 between them. So if you take vector a times it by 10, you get vector b. Or if you take vector b, divide each component by 10, you're back to vector a. So we could say that vector a is 0 0.1 times vector b. So we've got one single value of k that turns b into vector a. Or in other words, vector a is some scalar multiple of vector b. This proves that it is parallel. So a and b are clearly parallel. Let's make a very slight change to vector b, and we're going to change it to 1019. Now, of course, if we just take vector b and divide each of the components by, by 10, we don't get vector a. So as it turns out, these two are not parallel. There is not one single number that will turn vector b into vector a. So we can prove these are not parallel. What if we had a question that says prove that these vectors are parallel or not? And we've got vector a is 4, 6. And we've got vector b is 1421. If you think really hard, you might be able to spot the value of k. Or if not, we're going to look at how you can do it for any set of um, vectors. So here we're going to state the rule, which is if they are parallel, a is going to equal some multiple k times b. And what we have to do is we have to try and find the value of k. So we're going to substitute for vector a. Then we've got times k. And then we're going to substitute for vector b. This will give us two sets of equations. So we can look at the top line. And so the top line is going to be the 4 is equal to 14 times k. 
And then the bottom line is going to be 6 is equal to 21 times k. By simply rearranging this, we're taking the top line, dividing both sides by 14 and simplifying. So that would imply a value of k of 7 over 2. We do the same thing for the bottom line, and we'll get 6 divided by 21, which simplifies to 7 over 2 as well. So what we have is a situation where we have two values of k that are exactly the same, and so we can conclude that this is parallel. If a question said prove that these two vectors are parallel, so I'm going to change it slightly, this would be a mean question because these two vectors are actually not parallel at all. So let's look at exactly the same rule. So we substitute as before, and I've just changed the y component of vector b to be 22, so it's just off being parallel. We then write out the two equations as before, and if we were to rearrange this, we'd get k is 7 over 2, which is exactly the same equation as before. And then the bottom, we do 6 divided by 22, that simplifies to 3 over 11. 3 over 11 and 7 over 2 are not the same number, so therefore these two vectors are not parallel. So we've actually proved that these vectors are not parallel because there's no single value of k that works. So this explains how you can show whether two vectors are parallel or not. If it was helpful, please like and subscribe. And finally, thank you very much for watching.